Hey guys, it's your boy Foreman back with another video. Today we are looking at Elevator Pursuit. So I'll be reviewing the game Elevator Pursuit. I don't know how much of you guys would have had the experience with, you know, a Game Boy, the first fat Game Boy, or even the Game Boy Pocket, or even Game Boy Color, or even in the arcade itself. But there was this game called Elevator Action. Now, you're going to see a short video clip of what Elevator Action was, but I really love these retro games, you know, 64-bit retro games was, was great games. So, Elevator Action basically were, you were supposed to be shooting the security guards if necessary, going into the red doors, collecting the packages all the way till you get to the bottom floor. Now, Elevator Action was a nice retro game. Beautiful retro game, you'll see it. So, here we have some Elevator Action. You'll see what the game is about. Now, Elevator Pursuit was, I guess, was supposed to be kind of um, based off of this game. And you can see it's a nice, a nice simple game, elevator action, but I had love it. So I was on in search to say, I wonder if anybody did a game off of elevator action. You know, it would be a good game, a good trade to me. Um, I don't know if for copyright reasons or whatever, it may not be as that. But when we get into elevator pursuit, I'll give my input on what I think about it. And what the person could do better i guess it don't have to be the same exact thing but you would expect that it would be somewhat making it better but out of the action was just good and simple and it was just all about getting in to the bottom floor to get in your car that is marked shots so we are off and let the review begin of Elevator Pursuit. Now, here you see the basic beginning. See it has the play button. It has uh, accomplishments, settings, high score. Uh, obviously, some place where you could go and buy lives or, and gems and coins and cash, different things that you will be able to buy. Now, the game from the off, you know, come with a basically a different intro. You know, on uh, elevator action we just saw, the man was coming in on a zip line, so it kind of looked like he was coming illegally. Um, there you see, you can't drop down a floor. If you drop down a floor, you die. There you see, if you get shoot your day now with elevator pursuit the difference right off of the bat we can see is the movement of the character now uh it's a simple joystick a button for jump and a button for shoot now i guess the gameplay is supposed to be somewhat harder but with this game but for me it wasn't even as smooth of as elevator action because even when you look at how the man looks when he jumps it kind of looks like a, a clumsy jump you know when he, you got that one friend or person who clumsy that's how this man look totally clumsy so here you can still shoot lights and the lights um go out but in elevator action i think when you shoot a light it ain't just used to go on the floor it actually used to put out the lights within the building um well in this one there's no doors to go in i guess they didn't want to copy it so you shoot the the guys on your way down and you collect some money um the money could buy your lives and different things um 
for me, as I say, outside of the clumsiness, I think the movement. Then you have, then you have the. I guess these would be the security guards or the villains, whatever you want to call them. Um, as you could see, back in the other elevator action game, the guys were a little bit less aggressive. Very funny in this, the, the, the guys are a lot more aggressive, so you have to be on the off. And then, the, as I said, the controls are so funny that, like, to press down and so forth, it just seems like kind of a like too much. Whereas, now, you know, if it was just a, a instead of a joystick, kind of a up, down, left, right kind of kind of pot and I'm more sure with the retro Game Boy the up button was jump whereas with this it has that dedicated jump button which makes it a tad bit more annoying now in my first okay on this it was like well kind of slow progressing in a sense Two, it was just strictly going on in the elevator and I, I I mean I could understand the person who created the game probably didn't want outright copy elevator action but I feel like if you're going to recreate a, a retro game you should at least try to be as close as possible to the game to the feel of the game you know that would give you the basis of uh the nostalgia of the same game and not only that it will also give you the the game play mechanics that you would probably need to make your game better by understanding why the simple mechanics that the game had before was good and what you could do to make it better because as you can see the villains in this is jump and stuff as well so maybe that was further down in elevator action i really can't remember because elevator action was a long long time ago as you as you would have said you know it was an arcade game as well um, so on the game mechanics on the game mechanics so it was say you know it pass um if you would play for an extended period of time i guess it will all the de all depends on how much you really into the game mechanics and how dedicated you feel to want to progress well to be honest when i first went in the game and i was playing it i was telling myself oh this ain't really nothing like elevator action it ain't bad but it's not elevator action i mean I made a song, you know, kind of hard or harsh on the game. Because, I mean, you may be looking and say, well, it got better graphics. It got, it has better, it has a better look and feel to it. But I feel like the mechanics kind of slow. I, I guess that's my only downfall on the game is that the mechanics kind of slow. And... I think like the button configuration could have been a lot better and I, I that's, that's just my feeling about it um, this man just moving clumsy <laughs> this man is moving super clumsy so based on the eight to nine minutes I guess you all could give your all uh, views in the comments what you think about it for me for me i would give it a rating and you know probably y'all saying so far this is my rating system kind of harsh because i ain't seen nobody get past like a uh a, a, get like a high rating like an ear or anything but if i was to do like kind of popular games that everybody playing with then obviously the ratings will be high but as i said when i first started the way that this is set up this is going to be my tier on the, the game right at the beginning right on the off 
right when you now download it and start to play if it is a game that you will want to keep on your phone or is a game that you probably gonna get rid of just as fast as you download it now as i was about to say my rating for the game i would give this a rating probably of about four four or five four or five i guess we we'll slap it with a five and the reason i say five is because for graphics ways is good is obviously a stat in the right direction for graphics i just can't give it a higher number than that because as i said the mechanics for me just seem like even worse than the mechanics on a game boy color or our kid system it looks better it has the potential and oh this part here that you're seeing i couldn't get the man shoot so that was my ratings guys it was good doing this video for you foreman oh Thank you.